you so much, Neil. Well, American Bye. Axle and Manufacturing CEO Richard Dowd says there is reason for the White House to be worried. Things are at least looking worrisome. Um, I'm wondering, you're right on the front lines, Richard. You've got a good read from the manufacturing sector, from what other CEOs say. What does your gut tell you about where we're going toward November? Well, first of all, Neil, thank you for having me here to share some business thoughts with you and your viewing we audience. We appreciate it. What we see right now is very tough times. We've been through tough times. More importantly, we've got to focus on the future, and we've got to get back where we put America back on track. America has to be able to be competitive. So you, you don't see that the case right now? We are certainly failing as far as being competitive, or we wouldn't have this debt. We wouldn't have this kind of spending rate. And your guys are... are Concerned about the debt, concerned about it. Well, we're all concerned as business people about it because we try to employ Americans, we try to invest in America, we try to produce new and greater products for our customer and for our marketplace and do it on a global scale because America... It's the global scale that the administration criticizes, right? Like well, they may criticize it, but we have to look at the realities. Outsourcing is simply a symptom of not having been competitive in the business cost structure for many reasons. And we've got about a 20% burden right now in the manufacturing sector in America that has covered decades, not just the last three or four years, in tax costs, regulatory costs, trade imbalances, energy, and regulatory things. And you know what's happening in the last 30 days and especially the last week of things that will simply drive costs and other costs higher. That's but do your members good. feel, as, as, as the professor was saying just before, Richard, that... that you know, they're getting kind of used to bad numbers. As long as they don't get worse, I'm not saying they're sanguine about it, but they're kind of resigned to it, so it takes a lot more for them to repudiate a president. Well, I have great belief in our country, our citizens, and on November 6th, they'll finally decide in a democracy which way they want to go. Well, your members, if they had to be asked that question, are you better off now than you were four years ago? How would they answer? Well, they would absolutely be very deeply concerned on a negative side right now. And I've got 10,000 plus men and women on our payroll, so we have a big payroll to make every week, and we have suppliers have to be paid every week. And they're all concerned because they see the business enterprise being challenged and right now. what do they want to see out of the government, out of the White House, out of whomever? They want to see policy revisions. They want to see us get back into fiscal balance. They don't want to see us spending more than we bring in. Do they want tax cuts? And they want to make sure taxation has to be fair, reasonable. If there's tax cuts needed, absolutely that should be given consideration. So when the president talks about letting all the, uh, the Bush tax rates continue except those for the upper income, what do business guys tell you about that? Well, as I talk to business colleagues, and I mingle with many over my five decades in this business, they think it's absolutely wrong to be divisive, that we should have tax policy that impacts all, not having 50% of our people not paying any taxes, and also being too open to welfareism, socialism, and the different things of entitlement. They're out of control, and they have to be brought back into control. There has to be a discipline on the economics. There has to be a balance. Do they feel that they've been taught of this administration? They being who, Neil? That's a, a fellow CEOs or bosses in manufacturing that, that they have been vilified? I don't think that they're feeling like uh, there's a mercy mission here or something negative. I think they're very responsive, responsible, and looking forward. Respect the past, but we've got to focus on the future. That's what CEOs do. We're here to be job creators. I've personally aligned with Job Creators Alliance. I think it's a right. wonderful organization trying to help free enterprise and help get business thoughts out to make sure there's communication, knowledge for the voting public, and for all people, not just CEOs, but more importantly, our average John and Joe citizen. Oh. These people have got their homes and their families at stake, and we've watched in the last three, four years where the average net worth of these men and women has gone from $120,000 down to about $69,000. That's a horrendous... Is that true? Over what time? Over the last three and a half to four years. Wow. The average people have just lost a tremendous amount of their net worth. Okay. And you know what the exacerbating things are on home foreclosures and oh, different sure. families split up. It spirals right. out. And what we're trying to do is get manufacturing back in gotcha. because people have forgotten that we have to produce. We have to make things. And America's damn good at it. We forgot. We that. want to do this with engineering and science and innovation. And our company had one of the most difficult chapters in the last 20 years to be able to come back and be a strong global player. And we can do it. So it shows that anybody can do it. We've uh, done it in Detroit, Michigan. We can do it anywhere in America. All right. You're, you're in tough neck of the woods to do it as well. Richard Dow, thank you. Very good seeing you. So proud of you. Keep up the great work, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, you know, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker giving. <laughs>